Welcome to this episode of the Harpreet Singh Show. It's generally said that when wealth is lost, something is lost. But when health is lost, everything is lost. And this is the philosophy in which uh, Mr. Andy Admi believes in. He's 78 years old, but still he goes for exercise every day and he's a world champion in athletics. Let's talk to him about the success of his life and his good health. What are the basic principles he believes in and we should also imbibe that. Let's welcome Mr. Andy Admi. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much, um, Harbreet. The yes. First of all, I wish you all the best. I'm looking at all your studio. It's really wonderful. Thank you. And what you're doing for community, I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure thoughts. having you in the show. Yes. So a little bit about yourself. Uh, I was reading on the Facebook that you are celebrating your 40th uh, birthday, but you are uh, 78 years old. So uh, how is it? How, did you forget to uh, write the right uh, age or what was it? No, not really. Uh -huh. I tell you about a uh, few months ago, I was in the gym in Richmond Gee. doing the weight training. And oh, there the universal weight. I was doing 180 pound biceps. Okay. And the guy was do, he was 54 year old. Uh -huh. He asked me, Andy, but you doing very heavy weight. So how old you are? So I told him, you, you ask me and you look at me and you tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he told me, Andy, under the neck you look me only 20. <laughs> Over the neck maybe 45, 50. Okay. So when I told him I'm 78, right. now I entered 79, uh -huh. and he couldn't believe me. He said, I want to look your license. Right. So then he asked me, uh, asked me doing all this question about your secret. Is. Mm -hmm. I, the first secret is I never look the numbers. Mm -hmm. I go by biological life. Right. Even still I feel even yesterday I was running in the Richmond and uh, the guy was uh, running, he's uh, doing all sprinting. He's only a 25 year old. Okay. And I was ahead of him. He, he asked me, you're pretty good. And what you do? <laughs> I never told him age, otherwise he'll be embarrassed. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, but you see that only thing, a lot of people, uh, they think, oh, we are 50, now we are 60, we are old, now we should not. No, that's a wrong myth. Right. They should not count the numbers. Mm -hmm. They should count how you feel, how you maintain your health. Right. Well, that's wonderful. And so 40th uh, uh, birthday celebrations mean that's the time when you started uh, looking after your health. No, actually I'm looking at the health right in the beginning. My family, they okay. are very health conscious. Uh -huh. The 40th, actually, I think I'm, I'm younger than 40th. Still, <laughs> I feel as my body, right? <laughs> but even as my blood pressure, my pulse is 43, 45, my wow. blood pressure 120, 75. Right. And uh, there's no reason why I should feel not the, the 20 or 40. Wonderful. Even I thought I overstay that. I should be a little bit under more. Right. That's great. And you also participated in a number of world championships and uh, you won medals, gold medals also for the country in the senior category. Uh, just let us know a little bit about that also, that how did you get uh, inspired to go into these world championships? Well, actually, uh, you know that I got up till now, I got more than 300 medals wow. all over. About eight years ago, I happened to go in Richmond mm -hmm. in the track. Some people were running, uh, the ladies were running too. They looked me a little bit older. I said, what you do? They said, competition co coming next week. I said, what competition? Right. They said, that, well, they said, master's competition. Uh -huh. They started 35 and over, okay. five year each group. Right. And the world organization. So I thought, okay, can I run? So I start running <laughs> and uh, without warming up, I got hurt my leg. So then mm -hmm. I was one month off. Right. But then I thought, oh, I should achieve at least BC championship. Right. I'll be number one in the BC, I could say. Mm -hmm. So then I won, I won BC championship in 100 meter, 200 meter, 400. Right. And then other doing, then I more training. Uh -huh. Then I thought, I, I like to be the, the Canadian champion. Right. I feel good in whole Canada, I'm a number one. Gee. So then I won in about 13 medal in Canadian championship. Wow. 100 meter, 200, 400, long jump and short put, all these things. Mm -hmm. So then I thought, now, okay, I achieve. If I get uh, top eight people in the world, mm -hmm. I will feel very good. Look, I'm the top eight people, right? So then I went in 2010 okay. in the World Championship, right. where the 95 country came, 5,000 people. Right. And I was wishing that, as my coach told me, and you should run 400s and all the other thing, 100, 200, and I'm sure that you'll win something. Right. 
I, I said, look, if I come with an eight people on the top, I'll be very Happy. good. Happy, right. So when I, we started, I got confidence more. I psych up myself. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I tell you, very interesting that uh, how your will works. Mm -hmm. When we're doing the 400 meter, other European, Russian, German, they're very big, tall guy. Right. And by I look, I say, I'm a Jatsik. Mm -hmm. Guru Gobind Singh's my leader. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to, I'm going to win it, right? right? So then we stand on the line. Within 20 meter, I knew that uh, I got the chance to go on the top. Right. So then I won gold medal. <laughs> That's great. And a also great in the 200 meter, I won bronze medal there too. That's wonderful. A great uh, achievement at this yeah. particular rate. Now, basically, let's uh, know about your success, about your health. What are the basic ingredients which you feel need to be brought forward in anyone's life? Because today, there is a global health crisis, what we are talking about. And uh, you know what's happening all across the world. So let us know what do you do and what is your philosophy of life, how to keep yourself healthy? Well, you know that uh, it's very easy. Mm -hmm. You. I think a lot of people they think it's hard to control the weight, to control all the, the drinking problems and all that thing. I think it's very easy as, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. Only discipline of your mind. Right. Little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So think I know in the mind always you think sometimes positive as some idea come the negative. Right. Even I tell the last month I was uh, I was very uh, as a lazy feeling and I I have to go to the gym. And my one mind, oh no, for uh, one day off is all right. Right. So then my other mind, no, no, you should go. So then I told to my negative mind, hey, stop it. I'm not going to listen to you. Right. I'm going to go in the gym. I spent three hours. I was feeling so great. Right. So my other negative mind, is stop right there. So a lot of people, I know a lot of people, they don't have strong will. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think they should start the efforts. Right. Actually, this, uh, all these uh, people take the drug or high to, to, to feel high. Yeah. I think exercise is the best drug if you are addicted to it. Mm -hmm. Even I feel I used to drink a little bit, right. but uh, I tell you that that as my exercise is is uh, is addicted, right. that which really that you feel me so good. Mm -hmm. Another thing is on um, human body got billion billion cell. Right. So if you think positive all the time mm -hmm. and that you sending the message you're all the body cells right so you feel young and you can achieve anything that in your life mm -hmm. so one is exercise but also what you are taking inside your body also matters a lot that is your food what you are eating tell us a little bit about the food what kind of food one should have it's very very important you know that for the body for health and all that saying the body the weight and exercise I think is the 50 50 mm -hmm. It's uh, exercise, right. 50, I think more than maybe 50 is the food, what right. you take in. Actually, you know this, uh, God made this machine very excellent machine. Right. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people, they worship in the Gurdwara, I worship in the gym. Right. <laughs> I, I said, <laughs> body, even other day, when I, I, I had in the dream, I was asking the God, what do you think that I'm doing anything wrong? He said, no, uh -huh. you're doing exceptionally good you worshiping your body right. where, uh, where I give to you and you're taking very care of that. The thing, body right? is the temple and you do, yeah. you do look after yeah. it rightly. Yeah. Uh, I would like to discuss a little bit more about the food the habits, what one should have and what you are incorporating after this break. <music> to combat the global health crisis, we need to start doing something, but that has to begin from ourselves. Here we have a 79 year old person sitting with us and telling us that today also he goes to the gym and his body is telling us that body is the temple, worship it. Well, whichever religion we believe in, until and unless we believe in ourselves and have a positive attitude towards life, life will not be good to us. Let's learn something more from his wisdom. Yes, sir. So, like you were telling, food is very important, what you're putting into your body. Especially in our community, we are facing that it's a major health crisis. Diabetes, health, uh, your heart strokes, uh, blood pressure is not fine. Why do you feel that what we are eating, is that not good or what's happening? That's 100% true. What we eat, it's not good at all. Mm -hmm. Even I think the government should impose the penalty what you eat, especially our East Indian people. The food is terrible. Mm -hmm. All the mithai, how many, all the mithai, julebiya and all that, how many <laughs> you eat? You know, if you count it, 
I, I, I can hardly that number the how much we eat and the, 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 that's not very good. Even even healthy food at home, right? We eating the, it's not right good. I tell you that as my own routine, what I do, Ji. get up early in the morning. I take V8 juice or or other the granite pomegranate, right? And have a uh, as one lemon, right? Put in. And I chop the garlic about the small pieces. Okay. I swallow. I'm doing this for 25 years. Okay. That's the number one is medically. But look, the Google is very good. Oh, yeah. So then I t take the glass, I take a swallow. That's it. So mm -hmm. then I make the tea, take the tea upstairs right. for my wife. I wake her up. Okay. Otherwise, she won't be up. <laughs> <laughs> also for her, right. for her too, for garlic and the juice. We okay. had juice. I think it, then tea. Right. But then after that, and uh, I go for gym or mm -hmm. running. I go three times running on the track and two times in the gym in the week. Okay. But three hours each time. Right. So then after that, I go to gym, come after that home. And then we take, oh no, before that I go to the gym, then wife comes down on the kitchen. She make the juice both. Got 20 at least around 20 vegetable and fruits. Okay. All garlic, ginger, strawberry, and all. Uh, I have on the Facebook all the diet what we eat right. all the time. Right. And so then, uh, with that thing, uh, we put the whey protein scoop. Right. And we drink each glass, each okay. uh, each of our family member. Uh -huh. That's it. So then after that we go in the gym. Right. After the gym when we come back, mm -hmm. so then I take one cup of skim milk. Okay. And whey protein, one spoon uh, as a one spoon of haldi turmeric, okay, which is very good, and uh, all all brand, right. And one I s watched on your show, one guy was saying beets are very yeah, good. Yeah, beets are very good. Yeah. I look on the Google, mm -hmm. I all the benefit of the beets, right, really very good. So that I use half the beets or whatever that thing, I crush it, right. And also I used flaxseed. Right. Yeah, yeah, ground flaxseed mm -hmm. and almonds. Right. So that we crush it. Uh, and two egg white. Okay. That's my lunch and everything. Wow. That only I had all day. Okay. So then afternoon, Gee. I take some fruits. Mm -hmm. Only I have in my truck where if I go out, that's only my lunch and all that. And evening and uh, sometimes rajma uh, as vegetables. Right. Protein. Beans. And salad. Okay. And the beans. Or sometimes one piece of fish, okay. or one piece of chicken. Right. That's it. Uh -huh. At the end of the day. Right. See, even I saw the one guy from the, the Japan. He's the doctor, 94 year old. Right. He's still working in the in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I watched him in the SFU, and uh, very good health. He said, "What did he say that I eat? Only need." What I need, I what, need I only, I, what I need. Not to overfeed you, so yeah. that's what your suggestion is. What would be your message to the youngsters today? Because with your experience, you're a, uh, you're a successful businessman also, and you're a successful health entrepreneur also, I would say that, uh, that you look after your health. Because generally in our community, what happens is, as you said, after 40s, 50s, we start saying, you know, age has come upon us now, leave everything else. But you started living your life during that period only. And with God's grace today, you are, I mean, with your own uh, hard work, you are uh, uh, in a very good stage now. What would be your message and what gets, what inspires you to do what you're doing? You know, uh, Harpreeti, it's well evident a uh, truth. No, no pain, no, no gain. gain. Right. In every walk of life, mm -hmm. business, I know when I came, had only eight dollars. With the God's grace, now we are doing exceptionally good. I achieved, right. and have to be hard work right. on every field. If you want exercise, want to achieve something at mm -hmm. the world level, now all that thing, you have to work hard. Gee. It will come automatically. It's not if if you idle sitting at home or only uh, and you're going to look for the lottery. Right. No, that's not the thing. It's mm -hmm. not going to happen. Can I say? more I don't know how sure, long the please time go is. ahead yes please tell us we we need your wisdom <laughs> yeah okay I want to tell you that the few things the, the currency how people ask about the richness right people call the rich guy when they say you are rich repeat you're rich they only refer that you got a lot of uh, money the, uh, the health count a lot of the money, money count. yeah 
money account. Right. Actually, that's not true. Okay. I got I consider five currency of the health. Okay. Number one is the health currency. Right. If you are healthy, I think you are the richest person. Right. Number two, contentment currency. Right. If you're making enough living, making here twenty thousand, thirty thousand of you have all your expenses, you make a very good living. I think you're the happiest person. Mm -hmm. Number three, human currency. Right. We all human beings on this earth planet are even. Right. We should help each other. Absolutely. Number four, mm -hmm. a spiritual currency. Of course, maybe if you don't believe the God or there there the nature something you believe right. it and you think that they are watching, we should not do any bad act. Right. Number five is the monitor currency, mm -hmm. which we take all number one. That should be number five. Last, right. Yeah. Okay. So I only request to all our audience okay. listening, please, this body God gave you, don't take it, don't use it as a garbage dump, mm -hmm. put the right fuel into it and work hard. And I tell you that if, if you are addicted to the exercise, right. hard work, and I think you can achieve anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, a healthy body, healthy mind, Absolutely. the same thing. Absolutely. If you're healthy, you can work. Absolutely. If you're not healthy, you, how you can make the money, right. right? If you're healthy, your brain will work very efficiently. Sir, it was a pleasure having you, and towards the end, what would be, what are your future plans, and especially the message as you have already given, that look after your body, because it's God's gift to us, and how we treat this body is our gift to God, as you have said. So what are your future plans, any major championships coming, where you are planning to go, and how do you plan to continue your future life? Well, actually, there are other world championships coming now in October, Brazil. Right. I was ready to go there, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm somehow I got appointment. I'm, I'm busy. I cannot uh, make there. Right. So after, after I'm 81, mm -hmm. the other champion coming in the uh, in the Europe. So okay. I'll be ready for there, right? Wonderful. So, so now I'm going to miss that thing, but well. uh, uh, actually, this the see that on the motivation, uh -huh. it's very good thing that I feel. So that's why when I started this, achieve the world championship and all that thing. I'm doing working more harder to maintain my level. Right. What an inspiration you were. It was a pleasure talking to you. May God bless you more and you further, uh, you know, make uh, be a pride of the community. And that's how, as Canadians, we feel proud of you. Thank you very much for your time. No, one thing. Yes. <laughs> I always say, don't rush to the doctor. Uh -huh. Rush to the ground or the gym. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and last one more. Right. Oh. They will not ask how he died, right. they will ask how he lived. Lived, absolutely. So <laughs> live life. So it was again a pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs>